Today we're at Leighton Grange Farm in Cheshire Reese, planting up 7 hectares of former pasture. Uh, 8,100 trees are going in over this week, planted by the Green Task Force. Really proud to be down here at Leighton Grange, 7 hectare site, partnered with Green Task Force, who work diligently as you can see, no doubt, behind me. Cheshire East Council have partnered with the Mersey Forest, who are one of the 13 community forests in England. We're really proud to do so because it gives us access to both knowledge, experience and their ability to raise funding to allow us to achieve our net zero carbon goals. So we're here down today at this project where we are planting a big mix of uh, varied species which is great for the Green Task Force. The Green Task Force is a veteran initiative uh, deployed of course here in the North West. We've got teams across England over East Riding, Humberside um, and South West Wales, Devon and Cornwall. Our main focus is to provide a positive pathway for veterans through recovery, training and employment uh, and it really does uh, lend itself, the work that we do lend itself to, to the veterans uh, and it gives us that, that familiarity that we so uh, long for working outdoors. So this is a Trees for Climate funded woodland creation project, part of DEFRA's uh, Nature for Climate Fund. Uh, as part of the objectives it's to create a long term carbon store, uh, as well as other benefits such as water quality and creating new habitat for wildlife in the area. So this site we've been working closely with Cheshire East Council and their planning department to create a woodland that is complementary of the landscape. Um, as such, of the 8,100 tre trees going in, we're looking at uh, all native species, so English oak, field maples, goat willows, uh, Scots pine as well, complementary of the woodlands and surrounding area. In addition, we have worked uh, with the archaeological department as well to avoid uh, any kind of planting on archaeological features, but also design the woodland where it complements the uh, historic landscape as well.